amazing viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm reacting to b-ball black friend clothes so guys please stay tuned and let's enjoy this wonderful reaction <laughs> actually i got a couple of uh, friends of uh, african persuasion and uh i gotta get rid of them man i gotta admit to you i'm fine i'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them because I got to like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. It's like a rule or something. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you got to like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period. One of them's going to notice. All of a sudden just look at you funny like this motherfucker's got the same shit. He had on last Tuesday. And then the whole car's like, oh, shit. Then everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. He got five shirts. And they start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shit be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs, you know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, the, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got nice cars, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. These black dudes are never happy. But after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether a black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. No. I figured out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh, shit! Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. So I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. So shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like Midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, we're starting to get a little high up here. You feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th Street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? Dude, what's a bodega? I don't know what that is, let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. So I'm praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over. Guys, 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 Bill, he, he's very, 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 very funny. Like what he's saying is true about Africans. Yes, we like dressing 
lovely lovely clothes beautiful clothes at any given time even if we're going for an occasion we always look beautiful and always look stand out it's just that it's our nature we love uh, um changing of different clothes always looking want to look the best out of everyone so that's the reason even when he's saying it he's it's funny but he's also making sense in some things even when um as african clothes are not really like um americans they normally wear anything they feel like but african we always dress to impress we dress to impress it's just that uh, um that is our nature get so um bill is trying to like tease us make us this um um show is a comedy show and i i was enjoying it and i also laughed about it and he what he's saying makes sense and um and and i enjoyed his performance guys please guys let's continue over my shoulder you can see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon you know but she goes no man you want to get in the uptown two three train you want to get off at 125th street I'm like god fuck 125th street Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. So, at this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton. Take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, God, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Yo, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. Did he kill a bunch of white people during a slave revolt? <laughs> dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? Just relax, pull yourself together, and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. Oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? I don't even know where the hell I'm at. But I see the street I wanna go up. I wanna go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I wanna walk by. So I'm like, fuck! <laughs> Felt like I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I gotta walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know, but I'm also really, really white, you know? Like, shockingly Caucasian. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. No, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? I felt like I should have had, like, a little pot of gold. Like a rainbow behind me, top of the morning to you, latte. <laughs> kind of dance my way past them. But it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? You go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? Just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and two, the radio's off, like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass, I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. 
Thank you very wow, much. B, he is right, wonderful. Man, Something I like about him, I love his courage and everything he said is true. And I love the way he's proud of his skin type. Because when people condemn their skin and say, oh God, maybe I'm black, I don't want to be black anymore. Or I'm white, I don't want to be white anymore. No, 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 no. Be proud of your skin. Be proud of your personality. And I like the way he was able to express himself at any given time. And his confidence on stage was awesome and everything about him is very 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 good and um and i enjoy his performance very well this is the way he was making his audience laugh happy including me and i also know that you yourself you yourself you are happy about his performance on stage and i wish to react to more of his music his, his comedy video and and i enjoyed every bit of everything he he said on stage so guys please comment below on any video you want us to react to and also like subscribe to our youtube channel and get fashion stuff fashion makes sense He, he